As a Miraculous fan, I think it's fair to say that most times we get the short end of the stick, often feeling very dissatisfied and disappointed. I still haven't watched Miraculous in months. That's how badly the season 5 finale put me off. And even with the new models for season 6 recently released, my excitement just isn't there. But amongst this, some new spoilers regarding a world special titled Miraculous Edge of Time were also released. And I will admit, I was intrigued. Ever so slightly. Just ever. Okay, fine. I was intrigued by a lot. But not for the reasons you think. You see, I don't think anything can redeem the god-awful season 5 finale. I think the damage has been done. So when I saw that a new special was announced, and given that the specials so far have been great, like those slap, I'm always sat for those. I did wonder why. Why are the Miraculous specials significantly better than the main series? After all, it's literally the same creative team, right? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only, your girl, the Cartoon Hotspot. And in today's video, I'm going to be delving into the possible reasons as to why the Miraculous specials are of a higher writing quality than the main series. If you're interested in my thoughts, then feel free to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and click that bell button for post notifications. Without further ado, let's begin. Reason 1. Miraculous works better with long form content. So here's an unpopular opinion. Miraculous did not need five seasons. Oh now hold on, hold on, hold on before you jump me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now everybody's ganging up against me. For what? Realistically, the first narrative arc could have been wrapped up in three seasons. Four if we really push it. The reason I say this is because it's very obvious that the writers do not do well with pacing. In fact, they suck at it. Miraculous has a huge pacing problem, and that's an understatement. You can excuse it for the first two seasons because those are what I like to call the setup seasons, but by season three, which I refer to as the turning point season, the pacing issue is hard to ignore. In fact, it's almost distracting. There are a number of issues that bad pacing can cause. To list some of them off, inconsistent character development. When a character seems to be making progress and then for some reason ends up back in square one without learning anything, without growing, and basically being the same person as they started. Second problem, plot holes. This is especially evident with the time travel episodes, Time Tagger, Cat Blanc, Ephemeral and Evolution. The mechanics of time travel are so inconsistent and the writers keep changing the rules of time travel whenever they see fit. Problem three, lack of narrative flow. Episodes end up feeling like a collection of disjointed scenes rather than a cohesive narrative. A big example of this is the whole Lady Noir conflict in season four. You could tell that they're trying to do a lot within 22 minute episodes as evident by its weird pacing and storylines that just leave off on a cliffhanger but then for some reason the next episode doesn't really pick up on that cliffhanger. <coughs> Cough. Wishmaker. But also having five seasons consisting of 26 episodes each gives them the liberty to literally waste time. Nothing was resolved. In fact, I think we ended up worse than we began. Whereas with the long form content like the Miraculous specials, typically about an hour long, often allow for a concise but still well fleshed out storyline and character arc. Think of the Shanghai special for example, the in-depth conflict involving Fei and how it also connected somewhat to Marinette trying to reconnect with her Chinese heritage. The New York special, which showed us how Jessica and Aeon were trying to prove themselves as future heroes to their parents. And the Paris special, where we saw a parallel version of Marinette and Adrian that opened us up to Marinette's struggles and how she's maturing to finally love and appreciate herself and Adrian acknowledging his struggles with his mother's death. That kind of development doesn't really feel like it would be possible within 22 minute episodes, despite the fact that there's five seasons worth of content, which once again speaks to the incredible time wasting the show does compared to the specials. There's also the fact that the format of the specials allows for a tighter cinematic approach, aka the typical three-act structure. For those who don't know what the three-act structure is, act one is the setup. In other words, basically it sets up the world, the characters, the goals, as well as the obstacles that the characters may face. Act two is the confrontation where the stakes are increased, and act three is the resolution whereby the character achieves their goal or fails. 
and it's easy to tell with the miraculous specials it actually feels like a story that gets concluded in a satisfying way rather than the audience being dragged along with little to no progress to the story tighter pacing means consistent tone and theme significant plot progression and greater character development the specials stand on their own and really speak to the potential of the franchise that the show has repeatedly missed out on capitalizing on reason two creative freedom specifically non-canon flexibility this is something the specials maximize on especially being non-canon the specials can explore bold and creative storylines without being restricted by the continuity of the main series this freedom often allows for innovative and experimental narratives that can captivate the audience i mean i'm pretty sure the miraculous ladybug fandom saw a massive increase after the new york special and i mean massive because the specials are non-canon, the writers have the liberty to take risks, and for the most part, I would say they pay off. The New York special was the first time we saw what was basically an on-screen death, allowing us to fully grapple with the fact that Cat Noir's cataclysm is not to be joked with. The Paris special is the closest we'll ever get to an akumatized version of Marinette, because the series clearly has no interest in doing that. But hey, close enough. If I have to settle for parallel Marinette, I'll take what I can get. If I'm being honest, I'm not too sure what to expect from Miraculous Edge of Time. I'm already on the fence with time travel in Miraculous because it's just way too messy and from the looks of it, I think the special might be the closest to canon we'll ever get. I'm willing to bet the special is going to be an alternative timeline where Adrian finds out the truth about his father but then something goes wrong and Ladybug and Bunnix have to fix the timeline because the writers are just yelling in our faces at this point and trying to justify the season 5 finale. But then again, I could be wrong. I really hope I I am because I spent the entire video praising the specials so please reckless edge of time do not let me down but those are my thoughts and now I'm interested to hear yours what do you think of the miraculous world specials any predictions or theories for miraculous edge of time let me know down in the comments but as for today that's it from me and I'll see you again next time